Beneath the unforgiving surface of the Sahara Desert lies a treasure trove of secrets, from lost cities to ancient lakes. Today, join us on a journey of discovery as we unveil the mysteries hidden within the vast expanse of the Sahara. Greetings, curious minds. I'm thrilled to take you on an adventure into the heart of the Sahara Desert, where recent findings have reignited the fascination with its enigmatic past. Graham Hancock has dropped a bombshell, suggesting that scientists have stumbled upon a hidden path leading to ancient city ruins. But that's just the beginning. There's more to this story than meets the eye. Centuries ago, the Sahara Desert, infamous for its current harsh conditions, was a vastly different landscape, a haven of lush landscapes and colossal lakes. Recent discoveries have unearthed evidence of a mega lake that existed approximately a quarter of a million years ago. This ancient aquatic expanse, hidden beneath the Sahara's shifting sands, is a testament to the dynamic history of the region. Dive into the layers of time, and you'll encounter more than just geological formations. The remnants of fish fossils and, astonishingly, traces of ancient human remains paint a vivid picture of a once thriving ecosystem. This mega lake, spanning over 42,000 square miles, emerges as a critical piece in the puzzle of human migration. Picture this, the Nile River flowing into a region known as Wadi Tushka in ancient Egypt. During this epoch, the Sahara was not a lifeless expanse but submerged beneath the waters of a colossal flood, giving birth to the mega lake. Scientific investigations have revealed the presence of ancient fish fossils buried beneath the Sahara sands, providing tangible proof of the lake's existence. Beyond aquatic life, archaeologists have stumbled upon the remnants of our ancestors within the same region, further affirming the connection between the mega lake and early human habitation. This massive body of water likely served as a vital rest stop, a veritable oasis in the desert, enabling the passage of ancient people across this once hospitable region. Consider the importance of this mega lake in the broader context of human history. Without such a substantial water source and the rivers that fed it, the possibility of crossing the arid Sinai Peninsula and venturing into the Middle East would have been significantly hindered. The mega lake might have played a crucial role in facilitating human movement, a journey that eventually saw our ancestors spreading across the globe. Intriguingly, the Rishat structure, aptly nicknamed the Eye of the Sahara, has become a focal point of discussion surrounding the enigmatic Atlantis. Despite being a natural geological wonder, this colossal formation has ignited debates, raising the question, could there be a profound connection between the Rishat structure and the legendary lost city of Atlantis? As we delve into the intricate details of this massive formation, which spans about 28 miles across the Sahara Desert in Mauritania, its resemblance to Plato's vivid description of Atlantis becomes eerily apparent. Plato, in his timeless dialogues, narrated a tale of a city submerged by the sea, featuring concentric rings and a central canal, details that seem to echo in the patterns of the Rishat structure. However, it's crucial to recognize that the Rishat structure is not a product of human craftsmanship. Instead, it's a natural geological marvel formed through the complex interplay of geological processes. The concentric rings we observe today are a result of erosion along a domed anticline, created by the cooling and solidification of magma from a past volcanic eruption. The Rishat structure's vast expanse, composed of both igneous and sedimentary rocks, stands as a testament to the forces of nature. Despite its awe-inspiring dimensions, the big question lingers, could this geological wonder be the elusive Atlantis that Plato spoke of? The Sahara, now a desert, was once a different landscape, lush and teeming with life. It's conceivable that an ancient civilization within or around the Rishat structure might have witnessed dramatic changes, potentially influenced by large bodies of water in the region. While Plato's Atlantis narrative suggests submersion by the sea, the Sahara's dynamic past challenges us to reconsider the possibilities. Alas, the quest for certainty faces significant challenges. The Rishat structure, though tantalizing in its resemblance, lacks definitive evidence tying it to the mythical Atlantis. Human remains or artifacts within the structure could serve as crucial validation, 
but political unrest and the remote location hinder extensive excavations, leaving us with a tantalizing mystery. Graham Hancock's Ancient Apocalypse proposes a cataclysmic event 12,800 years ago that wiped out an advanced civilization. Could this event be the inspiration behind the Atlantis legend? We explore alternative theories, including the Sahara's potential role in this ancient tale. Venture into the depths of the Sahara, and you'll embark on a journey through time, discovering echoes of lost civilizations, remnants of the mighty Romans, and even the recent revelation of a concealed golden city near Luxor. Despite the formidable challenges posed by this vast desert, the Sahara holds within its sandy embrace the silent testimony of thriving cultures and the untold stories of those who once called it home. As the sun sets over the endless dunes, the Sahara whispers tales of ancient civilizations that flourished beneath its scorching sun. Roman ruins, remnants of the once mighty empire, lie hidden beneath the shifting sands. The outpost of Thamagadi, also known as Tumgard, stands as a testament to the Romans' architectural prowess. Established around 100 CE in modern-day Algeria by Emperor Trajan, this city boasted grand structures, including an Arch of Triumph, an amphitheater, a well-stocked library, and Roman-style bathhouses. Yet, the passage of time and the relentless forces of the Sahara buried these marvels, concealing them from the modern world until rediscovery in the 18th century. The remnants of Thamagadi now stand as a window into the Roman presence in North Africa, offering a glimpse into the daily lives of those who once inhabited these ancient desert landscapes. But the Sahara's secrets extend beyond Roman relics. Recently, archaeologists unveiled the presence of a hidden golden city near Luxor, Egypt. Dating back three millennia, this historical treasure trove lies in the Valley of the Kings, revealing a thriving city that spanned the reigns of Amenhotep III, Tutankhamun, and A. Mosaics, pottery, scarab beetle amulets, and mud bricks inscribed with seals of Amenhotep III emerged from the desert's grasp, painting a vivid picture of opulence and grandeur. Despite the challenges posed by the harsh desert environment, the Sahara yielded evidence of a mega lake approximately a quarter of a million years ago. Fish fossils and ancient human remains speak of a once thriving ecosystem, offering a crucial glimpse into the role this expansive water body played in human migration. The Sahara, often perceived as a vast and desolate expanse, unfolds as a tapestry woven with the threads of lost civilizations, each leaving its mark beneath the golden sands. As we navigate this arid landscape, the Sahara beckons explorers and storytellers alike urging them to unveil the buried chapters of history and breathe life into the forgotten tales of those who thrived in its unforgiving embrace. As we conclude our expedition into the mysteries of the Sahara, one can't help but wonder what other secrets lie buried beneath its sands. The Sahara, with its forgotten cities, ancient lakes, and hidden treasures, continues to captivate our imaginations. What do you find most intriguing about this vast desert? Share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more captivating journeys through history. Until next time, keep exploring.